Rise can be red, Shimei may be blue, cool ships are complex, just like you. Ugh, I know, I have that thing in here, I bought it, the AHA! Heart and Science Seasonal Release IPA from Ninkasi Brewing. 6.8% of alcohol going into our bodies. They still put the IBUs on there, isn't that cute? It's a beautiful tribute to technical arts and heartfelt dedication that brewers, farmers, suppliers, and fans bring to the independent craft beer industry. Oh. Thanks. Got this fancy glass because I'm a fancy lady. This is fine. Hmm. Uh, it's not uh, very bitter. You know, great. So you can't make any jokes about how bitter your heart is. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the heartbreak and science. <laughs> See what I did there. Um, behind recent closures going on here in Portland, Oregon. So Birvana, as people like to call Portland, it's changing. And it's interesting to witness because this is an industry that has always been at the forefront of beer production. We're trendsetters, we have a lot of saturation, and I think a couple years ago when everyone was having that, oh, the beer bubble, it's going to burst that thing was more focused here in Portland. So a lot of people are now saying, oh no, the bubble, it's being burst. Wow. I'll just outline a few things and then we'll talk about people's fucking bubbles. So uh, Alameda Brewing closed uh, like October, November. In 2018, no word yet on what's going to be happening with Alameda Brewing. We have two Lompoc locations that have closed. Um, I don't really care which ones they are. I was <laughs> sexually harassed by a Lompoc representative some years ago at an event um, because alcohol apparently does that. So I've avoided them for as long as I've been in the United States. Uh, Burnside employees well, a couple weeks ago uh, went to work to find that the landlord had changed the locks and posted Whoa. a sign saying that Burnside hasn't made payment in months. No other word from them. Portland Brewing shut its restaurant and tap room and Widmere shut their pub and tap room. Uh, Bridgeport Brewing Company announced on Tuesday that it will cease beer making immediately. Uh, the brewery opened in 1984, uh, making it one of the oldest breweries in Portland. And that's in the northwest and part of Portland. That's going to play into this. So I have a little quote here uh, from uh, Jeff Allworth, Beervana blog. He said, uh, Bridgeport is arguably the most important brewery in Portland. But he goes on to say, quote, you continue to have new breweries open. This year we've had a series of wonderful breweries that opened and you get a crowded and more crowded and more crowded marketplace. And these older legacy breweries, if they're not nimble at making changes to be relevant, it becomes more and more difficult for them to stay in people's consciousness. So is this because millennials have, you know, that trend seeking uh, inability to um, stay loyal? That's one of the reasons why I think flagship February was brought into play is because Maybe people are just so after finding what's fresh and new that they're not getting accustomed to the beautiful basics that breweries can offer. Hmm. But that leads me to question, what about all those people that are not millennials? I have so many friends in their mid-30s who say that they're not millennials. So everyone above 36 is not a millennial. So you're telling me everyone from 21 in the United States to 36 is these are the main drinkers and they're the reason why all these places are closing. Eh, I don't think so. What about all of you other drinkers? That's a lot of people. So uh, 
Bridgeport itself said sales and distribution uh, continued declining in an extremely competitive beer market in, in Oregon and the Pacific North, Northwest, and that was one of their final decisions. So, although it opened in 1984, uh, when the brewery itself was an industrial zone, now uh, that part is a, it's a hotbed <laughs> of just recent transplants to PDX, uh, upscale dining, expensive, fucking trendy, useless boutiques, all that kind of shit. On top of that, Bridgeport itself is also owned by Gambrinus Company in Texas, so they're, that company isn't even in Oregon. So again, it makes it kind of not as agile a, of a company. So people are gonna sit here and blame consumers for seeking what's hot and what's new, but with each of these breakups, I'm sorry, closures, <laughs> There are a bunch of specific circumstances that are really unique to each case. Like with Portland Brewing Company, it said that it closed its restaurant because of changing changes in the marketplace in in the restaurant marketplace in Portland. Me, am I sad to see some of these places go? For sure. I think that a changing and evolving market is what makes the craft beer industry so important and vital. These companies weren't able to be nimble to create atmospheres that people enjoy. I was speaking with someone last night about how much they love 10 barrel brewing here. And I just don't go to 10 barrel because they're owned by ABM Bev and I think it's just a fucking bro culture. I don't care how good the beer is. I think that for me, when it comes to picking uh, beers, I go by company, how I feel about the company and what I know about the company itself, um, how the beer tastes, Availability and consistency, branding, and then I'll go with atmosphere. Uh, I will tell you that I've at Burnside Brewing, I spent a lot of money, had really poor service and not very good food. Bridgeport, it was much the same thing. Just kind of, I don't know what this space is for. It doesn't do anything for me. Were the beers good? Yeah, Burnside has some great beers and it's sad to see them go. Like with Portland Brewing and Alameda, which is a consistent brewery. <sighs> All of that being said, it's okay to bring on change and it's okay to talk with your significant other about those changes that you want to see happen. You have a brewery that you love and support, you've got to communicate with them. Communication is key. Maybe do some hazy role play. I don't know. Not my thing. Communication is key. So how do you feel about it? Do you think that we're losing these institutions? Or do you see this as a general progression, uh, something that is going to better the beer industry here in PDX? Now, today is a day where uh, around the world, many different cultures and countries are celebrating what they like to call Valentine's Day, a day celebrating love. So rather, weather, rather, whatever. If you're celebrating Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day, or the all-inclusive Palentine's Day. Palentine's Day. I don't care. I wanted to wish you a wonderfully delicious day. Do something romantic for yourself, for your grandma, for other people at the pub, whatever. Just take some time, take it in, and know that I myself will be consuming plenty of chocolate and flowers. <laughs> Oh, the cleverness. Ciao.